After living an active lifestyle, one man found himself living with an artificial heart. That Arizona man travels to Utah for treatment at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. They work to keep patients alive while they wait for a heart transplant. In our continued partnership with Intermountain Medical Center, we learned how advanced technology, expertise, and care keep patients alive without one of the most important organs. Take a look at Andrew Weaver. Husband and father are two titles he proudly answers to. And now he can add heart transplant recipient to the list. I uh, started getting tunnel vision, so I went into a neurologist, and the neurologist suggested that I go get my an echo done on my heart, and they found a bad aortic valve. Andrew went in for surgery to replace that valve. When it came time to come off of pump and have his heart start doing its, its work, it had completely failed. Andrew's heart simply gave up, and he was literally dying when he arrived at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Our surgeons and intensive care doctors worked in incredible um, um, work to be able to stabilize him enough that he was then able to have the artificial heart implanted. Intermountain Medical Center heart failure transplant doctor Deborah Budge shows off an artificial heart. This replaced Andrew's after it stopped working. So what's very unique about this is that the person's actual heart is removed and they're completely dependent on the machine. It actually pumps more blood than a real heart. Andrew had one for three months, but for some patients, it takes years for a transplant. And that means living your life attached to a machine 24-7. Tubes uh, similar to this are what come outside of the body and attach to the machine. The artificial heart means you can walk, talk, eat, and be active, almost like normal. Andrew lost a step and some energy, but he kept fighting. He had two great reasons to do so. Unlike some patients who have heart failure for many years and they will slowly get worse, his was uh, a very dramatic presentation. Andrew now has a new heart, thanks to an organ donor. Surrounded by the people who encouraged him to keep fighting, Andrew's wife, wrote this book, Unbreakable, A Father's Fight to Live. It's all about the greatest challenge Andrew and his family have ever faced. I was kind of excited, I guess, to just be alive at that point. Now again, the artificial heart is used as a bridge between heart failure and a heart transplant. Without it, patients wouldn't survive. We posted more details about the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute on our website, goodforutah.com.